In this video, I'm going to show you how to do Evocor herringbone flooring. And Evocor, it's a brand. They do uh, LVT flooring, clicked LVT flooring, which means luxury vinyl tiles uh, flooring. And this is how it looks. I've opened the box, and uh, that's that's what's in the box. We got always we've got always two types of boards with this herringbone and there's board A and B um, they have different joints and um, they overlap each other and that's how you make the v-shape and me and my client we just uh, discussed how it's gonna be run and from the hallway as we walked in uh, we decided that it's gonna be a, a v-shape this way not not across, not like this, uh, not this way, but going uh, long ways. So let me just show you quickly what it is and with two joints. So if you look carefully, um, there's a bit of a difference. Uh, you've got the groove here and groove here, the female joint, and the tongue is in the front and up the back here and this other one the tongue is in the front and here and the grooves are up the back here and there so you have to overlap it like this um, you just click it and you make sure it's all lined up so you've got the groove here and the groove here and you just continue building up so um, so we start the job with simple question, which way we're going this way or we're going across this way. Because uh, you can go both ways. Like if you enter the house, you go zigzag or you enter the house and you go V shape or A shape. Um, so anyway, this is how we start the job with simple decision, which way is it going to go. And then what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to measure up the width of that hallway, chalk line, shoot the line in the middle, exactly on the peak of that V shape or A shape, and, um, and we're gonna spread the job, let me show you, around that staircase, into that little, um, under the staircase storage. And it's gonna stop in the front of the toilet, and it's gonna go, all the way to utility room. That's the utility room. And from this way, it's gonna look like a zigzag, yeah? And we're gonna put a threshold later, overlapping the tile in the kitchen. That's the kitchen. And, and our new flooring. And uh, as well, we're gonna have another uh, threshold to the bedroom. And here we're gonna have on that timber there's gonna be a frame for that door into the kitchen and dining area so this is the job and uh, we've got one little challenge let me show you um, and the challenge is maybe if you look carefully I'll try to zoom it in these are two different levels this is a this chipboard is a little bit higher maybe by five mil so what we're gonna have to do it has to be flush right obviously we'll have to fill that hole here <laughs> um, but we have to trim that um, that level it's about six mil so look carefully see that's what we need to cut off um, and the frames are already cut down here because also you have to fret, do the frames first. And there's been already trimmed by previous guys who failed to fit it. And that's why these clients called me to rescue them. So, um, but at least they've managed to trim the frames. Um, anyway, that's how it's gonna look. It's a nicely, nicely um, finished floor when it's under the frames. So yeah, this is the job. And, uh, and I'm gonna catch you up later with some, uh, uh, I zoomed in too close to my face. 
uh, I'm gonna film some more of how it's the job is going and also I didn't mention but we also decided from the front door there's gonna be coconut coil the doormat which is here we're gonna cut it and just fit it loose on the floor but um, I'm gonna set up my camera and uh, I'll catch you up with, catch you up with some more footage of how the floor is being fitted but this is the start of the job simple discussion which way the floor is going and uh, and that's it uh, I'll catch you up later so stay tuned
show you how to do tricky bits around the around the frame and uh, and walls. So we got this piece here, and you have to slide it under the door frame and also click it into the board next to it. And to do that, you can't just get the board there and click it because you have to slide it. So what we have to do, we have to remove this bevel here, this thing here that sticks out. You have to shave it off. It has to be flat. And what happens then, you can, you'll be able to slide it flat without um, you know, you'll be able to slide it back without any like maneuvering. So let me just cover up. So this is how, how you do it. Now this bevel is shaved off. You can just do slide it inside and just pull it and just pull it. That's it. And that's how it looks. And this has to be inside the frame because you've got architrave, you know, you've got architrave, and that's it, that's how it's gonna cover. So you won't see any gaps there. I'm just missing that little triangle. Um, but yeah, this is the pretty much uh, how you do those tricky bits around the frame and the wall where you have to pull back your board. You cannot click it, because you have to slide underneath and then slide back to the rest of the floor. So I hope you find it helpful and uh, yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much how you do it. Mm -hmm.